All right, we are going to work the blanket stitch flower. So we come out any dot of the outside that you want. I'm going to go in through the center, come out the next dot, next bit. Not always going to have the dots there, but that's okay. We're going to go underneath the needle at the working end, pull all the way through, we get our first L, and now we're always going to work through the center. So we're going to center to the next dot, go underneath, so there's a lot of weaving, pull through, and you just keep working this. And I find that it's easiest to turn your piece as you go, because this is a circle. Go through. And you start seeing these segments as you go. And you can vary the width of these wedges. So if you get them closer together, you're going to get a lot more lines in there. It'll probably look like a more dense flower. Totally up to you. Not all the wedges have to be symmetrical. Again, with natural things, you don't have to do that. And when you start getting uneven lengths, you get this happening, which makes it look a little bit more realistic. This is a quick flower you can just whip out in a few minutes. Just remember, we're always going back through the center. You're always wanting to put that working end under your needle. This is another one where you're going to get a void in the center and that affords you the opportunity of dressing that up however you see fit. So you can put a French knot or some other sort of decorative stitches in there or you can leave it. So the last stitch. So we've closed the loop, and then to make sure we keep that loop, we're just going to put the thread or the needle in, over the thread to tack it down. Let's tack it down. Now, you see that some of this kind of pulled free. What I can do to kind of help with the tension, since these are bigger wedges, is tack these bits down as well. Kind of pulling everything else free. You can give more definition to the outside of your flower here. For something like this, if you were going to be washing this or displaying it, I would not use permanent marks for all your points. I would use some sort of washable marker or wash away air dissolving marker so that you won't see those points. But then you just tie off in the back and that's the blanket stitch flower.